I want to clarify a point that y'all mentioned earlier. You said you don't believe in white privilege, correct? Yeah, it's, it's a myth. It doesn't exist. Okay. So according An analysis shows that blacks have committed a disproportionate amount of crime. No one wants to say it out loud, but it's true. In fact, where should... There's a lot more white people than black people in 60, the United it's States. It's a 60% white country and a 14% black country. So you just proved my point. <laughs> Hi beautiful people of you guys are doing great you're welcome to the beer speaks so Charlie K the books Libra College students on white supremacy let's check it out hi y'all so before I ask my question I want to clarify a point that y'all mentioned earlier you said you don't believe in white privilege correct yeah it's, it's a myth it doesn't exist exactly okay so according to the Bureau of Prison Statistics um, from last month 38.3 percent of our current inmate population is black but according to the 2020 census data, only 12.2 of our national population is black. So if you don't believe in white privilege, how do you explain this disparity? So why are they in jail? It has been this way for years, um, since the 90s. No, no, since wh wh why, do, why do people go to jail? Why are black people in jail at higher rates than white people? That's the question, right? Maybe because yes. they commit yes. more crimes than white yes. people. Yes. But that's not true. It actually is. They do. So it, every independent analysis shows that blacks have committed a disproportionate amount of crime. No one wants to say it out loud, but it's true. It's true. In fact, in New York, 52% of murders are committed by blacks, 40 plus percent of arson, 60 plus percent of drug deals. Mm. And so the question you should really be asking is what drives them to commit crimes? That's the question, right? Mm. The real question is, and maybe I can ask you, what percentage of blacks are raised with two parents in the home? So actually, according to the Uniform Crime Report for 2019, black or African-American individuals committed only about 1 million crimes, while white people committed about 4 million yeah, crimes. So, yeah, but, but yeah, that's but hold proportion. On. Yeah, how proportion. about the proportion? There's a lot more white people than black people it's in 60, the United it's States. It's a 60% white country why. and a 14% black country. So you just proved my point. You literally, so, so basically, that's a disproportionate amount of crime. Yeah. It is. I, but listen, I want to say, look, you are coming up here and you're asking a question, and that's not easy to do, first and foremost, no matter what. And I really appreciate your question in front of all of these people. It's hard. Yes. So thank you for asking your question. But let me point out what you, what you just did, and you didn't know that you did it. You switched from proportion to raw numbers. Mm. And you did that to make a point that you thought you were making, but you weren't. But look, your issue was that black Americans only make up 13% of the population. And yet they make up, I think you said like 38% of the prison population. And then you, yes, you switch That's to why. raw numbers because so black people only make up 13% of the population, but they commit 40% of all homicides and 60% of all violent crime. Unfortunately, I don't think that's anything inherent in black Americans. That's not what I'm saying. That's just the fact. And what Charlie is saying is, look, we've got to look at why that is. So you're claiming that that disparity is inherent proof of discrimination. So would you also say the fact that there are fewer Asians in jail means that then white people that there is discrimination against white people hmm. no disparity isn't proof of discrimination is what i'm so, trying to say yeah. so let me just throw and ali's exactly right what percentage of blacks grow up with two parents in the home hmm. i don't know yeah don't less than 20 percent. that's why there's so many blacks committing crimes and they're in jail it's that simple the death of the black family is why blacks are in jail higher than their population percentage it's that simple. May I see your criminology degree? Do you have uh, one? Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, wait. We've got a. We've got a. Are you a we, we biologist? From an we expert. Brown that, Jackson. No, but let me ask, let, let me ask you a question. So, um, so do I need a criminology degree to be able to no. understand that 75% of blacks don't grow up with two parents? Mm -hmm. To be well versed in it, I believe so. Do okay. You do you have one? I don't, but I'm studying it. Okay, right but now. you. Oh, she exactly. studied it. But you did the it's same funny. thing. You looked at a statistic, and he did the same thing. You Look, don't have a criminology have degree, and neither a does he. Course. Have Hold on a second. Course? You're doing an argument from authority, okay? It's a fallacy. So the laws of physics don't change whether or not you're a physicist, okay? The law of thermodynamics doesn't change whether or not you take a course on it. Answer the question Why do blacks have a broken family versus a nuclear family, and does that translate to higher rates of crime? Do you admit that? Why is it that blacks don't have parents, though? Why? Good question. We subsidize single motherhood in this country through the federal government of the United States. Great question. Now we're getting somewhere. 
Back in the 1960s, we put forward a program where black women married the government and broke up with the men they were with. Welfare state, Lyndon Baines Johnson, and that has contributed to blacks committing more crimes. I believe institutionalized racism is your answer, but I don't believe I'm getting any oh, with y'all. But, but no, just, just let me say, just let me point something out. Did you know that it's not white Americans that have the lowest incarceration rate or the lowest rates of crime or the highest graduation rates or the highest median income? It's not white Americans. It's Asian Americans. They have the highest median income. They have the highest graduation rates. They have the most degrees. They have the lowest incarceration rates. And guess what? They also have the lowest single parenthood rates. Okay? So that is true across the board. It's not just just black Americans. And unless you're willing to say that the reason why Asian Americans make more than white Americans or the reason why Asian Americans go to jail less than white Americans is because there is systemic institutional racism against white people in this country, then your argument against black people doesn't really work. So let me ask you one thing. You said institutional racism. I got a black friend right up here. He's great. What, what can, he's great. So let me ask you. Let me, let me ask you a question. What can I do that he can't do? Mm -hmm. What do you mean? If, if, if institutional racism was real, what can I what do that he can't do? do? Well, you're less likely to get arrested. I'm sorry. No, if we both commit a crime, mm -hmm. he's going to get arrested and I'm not? He could. What, wait, so we just went through this. Blacks commit a disproportionate amount of crime, uh, crime in this country because of broken families. So give me one law on the books. You said it's institutional. Families. Give me a law anywhere that discriminates against blacks. Give me one law anywhere in America. You want current or past? How about right now? Well, the fact that crack cocaine is criminalized more than regular cocaine. No, no. If, I, if, I, if, I deal, if, if I deal crack cocaine, I'm getting arrested regardless of skin color. Give me a, give me a law. White cocaine, you would... You're Give me a like law anywhere that allows white people to, to commit crimes and get away with it and blacks can't. Does that law exist? Not anymore. But because there's no institutional real. racism in America. The no idea of institutional real. racism is laws on the books. Just because it's not down on paper doesn't mean it's not real. Okay, give us an example. Not just God. a disparity. Not just a disparity. God? God isn't, you don't see God. He's on paper. Read the Bible. I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> I'm getting nowhere with y'all, and y'all are not answering my questions, so I'm going to end this Q&A right here. Thank you for your time. Okay. We actually did answer her questions, yeah. but I do appreciate, I really, even though she's got an attitude, um, she, I, I do appreciate her courage. I do. That, that is difficult. That's difficult yeah, to come I mean, up here and ask a but question, I, see, but you can also do it respectfully. But what bothered me about her, I'm glad she was there. She wasn't being honest. At least be honest, okay, and be willing to be corrected. Well, that was a fun fireworks show to end our time together, right? Oh, God. Oof. I could see it from her eyes, from her expression, that she was not fine with the answers we were giving her. You know, definitely when you are in a country where as the population, when you commit a crime that is not accepted in that country, you know, white people kind of get away with some crimes compared to black. Normally, the whites will have more population when it comes to crimes because the, their population is higher than the blacks. And there are some places that, you know, blacks might not really know that the crime they are committing is against the law because there are some things you are not allowed to do in some in, in some white man's country in which as a black man if you don't take your time to understand the country and to know their rules and regulation you know you might get arrested but at the same time if you see a white and a black man commit the same crime don't give privilege to the white based on the fact that it's his own country and try to punish the other man the black man that's racism that's what may consider as racism so there should be equality so you know they kept on saying some things that she was not cool with and she was like no uh, give me your facts where did you study from this is this you know all this college uh, especially when you're studying and because they've taught you in school so you believe that okay that is where everything should come out from yes they taught you in school this person you're asking from has a lot of knowledge about it he has been listening to news he has been doing more research has been hearing things online if he does not know it he will tell you oh this is it and he will say much he gets it and he spoke about you know parenting 
that the reason why most of these things happen with black people because of parenting, lack of parenting. A lot of black people are single in, in abroad. Is it that they, 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 they are not with their partner and they have children? You know, they are trying to live their life and, you know, they are the ones going through a lot of struggle because of how they try to survive. So, it just spoke about parenting. It spoke about, you know, the, the whites over the black. You know, it, I believe there should be equality. That's, that's it. If this person commits a crime, punish the person equally. No, no matter your, you know, your skin color, your country, your tribe, wherever you are from, don't give them some special privilege or special, you know, treatments. No, give them equal treatments based on how they committed the crime. Make sure that person get that treatment squarely. So, like the lady said, that uh, college lady has an attitude, and I can't blame her because you no, know, the whole information she trying to make a point, and them tackling a point made that feel so bad. She was bored. Because at the point is that you could see from her expression that she was sad. She was just keeping it cool so that she won't raise her voice and it won't cost something that will make her cry or, you know, you could see that she was trying herself to respect them, calm down, but she was not cool with the old discussion. That's why she just left it like that. That was a beautiful one, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.